Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. Today we're going to do a full review of the Mooncool TK1. It's a trike by a newer company called Mooncool. And I tell you what, there's a lot to know about this trike, so let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, here we go. So, big thank you to Mooncool for sharing or sending this uh, out to me so I could do a test and review. And uh, yeah, you know, Mooncool is a newer company and they just uh, came out with this model recently, as well as a couple other models. So I'm excited for them, and I like it because I like the compact size of this. You know, I call it compact. No one else in the industry, I think, is calling it that, but it really is a compact size compared to some of the larger trikes uh, that are made by some companies that are just behemoths. They're just huge. And this is, uh, you know, this fits right in there with some of the other smaller trikes that came out earlier this year. So there's a lot to know about this. There's some really really neat things and uh yeah so let's just jump into it that is a moon cool branded 500 watt motor right there in the back now it's 500 watts but it peaks at 750. now according to the website the torque rating on this if i'm not mistaken was like 42 newton meters which seems like it's really really low but guys don't let that be a turnoff i don't think that's accurate i really don't just like a review i did on another brand recently that was stating they had a really low torque rating. You know, I've I've gotten familiar with torque a little bit in some of these uh, bikes and e-bikes and trikes. And I tell you what, uh, it sure acts like it's a lot stronger than that. So don't let 42 Newton meter on the website be a turnoff to you because it's got power. It's It, it does well, and we'll, we'll talk about that more in the, in the uh, riding video. So let's see, the second most important feature is probably the battery for most people. So that is like a 14 and a half or 14.7 or something like that amp hour battery. So good size battery for a trike. Now let's go ahead and move on up here to the front and uh, just take a look at things. So that is a familiar looking headlight right there. Nice and big. It's integrated with the battery. I like that. Uh, it does have this um, cargo package. So we have the baskets and the basket rack right there on the front. Down here we do have hydraulic disc brakes. Now, this is a brand that I'm not real familiar with, but I can tell you it's been, they've been working well. Now, I will share with you when I assembled this, I did have a little trouble with the brakes. Something here is out of adjustment and I just couldn't get it to adjust so that the, the larger 180 millimeter disc didn't hit the back side right here. So what I had to do, I slipped in a couple of washers here and here just to move that caliper away from the disc. Hey, it works perfectly now. No problem whatsoever. Just wanted to point that out. Hey, look, for a smaller compact trike, this one has suspension front forks. That's important. You know what? I think uh, it's old school and those days are long gone for having a bike or a trike that has rigid front forks. So I appreciate Mooncool for giving us a suspension front fork there. Um, let's move around here. So let's uh, move up the stem here. This is a folding trike. So we do have... Uh, the ability to fold it right here as well as we can adjust the height real easy open up the clamp and you can raise or lower the handlebars so you get a nice riding position i like that i like that a lot moving around here the uh, wiring the wiring is wrapped really nice there they did a good job with that here you can get a closer look at the handbrakes up here and again not familiar with the brand but the brakes have been working just fine i haven't had any trouble at all in fact, I will share with you, because some of you have watched um, my other videos talking about brakes, when I got this out of the box, there wasn't any oil or anything on that disc brake. I didn't have to clean the disc brake, my brakes didn't get contaminated, everything worked fine like it was supposed to right out of the box. Appreciate that. Also talking about brakes, I will point out that you don't have them on the wheels, but you do have one on the axle back there. So you do have two brakes, one for the front, one for the rear. But again, when they perform well, who cares if you only have two and not three? All right, let's move it up here. Uh, the frame style is pretty nice, I like it. It's not squared off, so it's, it's rounded, so it's a nice look to it. Got some branding right there that is not overdone like some brands like to do. You got connection points here for a water bottle holder. This is a folding trike, so that's nice that they made it folding. Moving down here, you do have a smaller front uh, crank here. Um, I'll put it on the screen if it's different, but I think it was 42 tooth. No? 
Nope. I bet it's smaller than that. I'll put it on the, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it on the screen for you. There might be room back here, according to the frame, because it bends right back here. So if you wanted to add a larger uh, chain uh, ring right there, you probably could. I know some people like to do that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, one other thing I didn't point out to you is it is a quick release front tire. I didn't point out that these are Chow Yang tires. It's upside down there, but these are Chow Yang tires. And interestingly, these are 20 by three. So other trikes of this uh, compact size have even th more thin. You know, the tires are even thinner than that. I like having thicker tires because I think having thicker tires, it adds to the stability of the trike. And it just, more contact surface with the road. So I like that. Uh, let's see here, moving on back. We do have a pretty nice clamp right here for clamping things down. I've seen them a little bit bigger, but I've seen them much smaller and harder to operate. And this clamp right here, it's pretty smooth and easy to operate. I like that. The seat is a little, I mean, it's a little wider, which is nice because that gives you more support on your backside. This particular trike does not come with a backrest, okay? So that is something you could get after market if that's something that is important to you. Moving back down here, we do have a chain guard that runs all the way back to the motor back there. Get you a close up of what things are looking like back there. Yeah. We do have a nice size rear basket back here that allows you to haul some things. And again, we have the same size tires on the back. They look sharp there. Moving on around. Now this is kind of cool. I like that we have good reflectors and lights back here. These are integrated lights, okay? That's an integrated uh, light. It also has blinkers. I'll show you that in just a minute. Nice and bright. And we do have a reflector attached to the back of the basket. All right, let's uh, go on ahead and move on up here into the cockpit area. And as you can see, it's powered off right now. Let me point this out. On other brands, sometimes you have to wake up the battery down there first before you power it up here. That is not the case with the Moon Cool. When you're ready to go, you just hit the mode button, hold it down, and it's gonna fire up the display right just that easy. I like that. More about that in a moment. Let's go over here and take a look at these hand grips. So kind of a similar style we've seen before. They've got that rubbery feel. Really like it that they have the palm rest. Nice and comfortable there. Of course, we got the display. Moving on across over here, we have our blinker switch on the right side. So you have left blinkers and light blinkers, blinkers and a horn. I like the horn because it's electronic but it's not it's not too loud okay it's not overpowering it's not uh, something that's gonna scare people as you come up behind them so I think it's perfect in that respect let's turn on the left blinker I'll hop back down here show you what that looks like look you can easily see that even in the daytime okay and I like it that the taillight assembly is a little wider so you can clearly see it's the left one blinking not the right one that's important to me when you're going to have blinkers it needs to be bright because some uh, bikes and trikes they put like a really small little light and it's more gimmicky than it is anything this is a really nice taillight i like it a lot okay moving back up here we'll turn those off let's go back to the display now the display is kind of basic nothing too fancy here but it works just fine um, you have five levels of pedal assist shown by a bar graph instead of a number we have the battery indicator right there and up here it shows you how much power you're consuming as you're moving on down the road you've got your speed and then you have your odometer right over here so th there are some settings you can adjust inside here i don't have uh, any instructions on how to go in and manipulate that so i haven't done that yet out of the box this trike does uh, go at top speed of 16 miles per hour when you're on the throttle okay pedaling because it is a single speed not a multi-speed bike <clears throat> i have found that uh, i can only pedal to about oh i think it was like eight or nine miles an hour and then it starts to get a little fast and beyond that i'm just throttling so just be aware of that okay now some of you are going to be sitting here thinking about another brand e-trike and you're going to say hey it looks like the same trike uh, and in fact, in some of my riding videos, I've already had those kind of comments. Oh, it's the same trike. I assure you it's not. Uh, there's a lot of similarities, okay? There's a lot of things that are the same, but there's a lot of things that are completely different. And uh, 
yeah, so you're gonna wanna look for the, the next video that I put out about this. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it a comparison video, so make sure you stick around for that. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, because you'll want to, uh, you wanna see that video. Hey, here's something I just realized I overlooked. Let me show you this. Right down here, they do have a trailer connection, okay? So if you have a trailer, you can connect it. Now just be aware, when you connect a regular bicycle trailer to this, they're not designed to, to go here. Um, because of how the, the bend in the, in the, uh, the front uh, fork there of the, of the trailer is designed to go on the outside tire of the bicycle, and then it comes around, right? It comes around, and then the trailer lines up behind the bike. Well, most standard trailers, you know, it's gonna put your, your trailer over here somewhere if you try connecting it there. It's just not designed for that. Uh, I hope they come out with a, an accessory or something that allows you to change out uh, the front part of any trailer that you buy so that it'll be compatible with being pulled by a trike. I do hope that. And let me share something with you also about Moon Cool. You know, since we've been communicating, um, you know, I, I shared with them a few ideas and, and a few things that, uh, you know, a couple of concerns and some ideas. And uh, they've been very responsive to that. So I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to see uh, what they come out with in the future because, yeah, they, they're, they're a company that seems like they want to listen and, uh, you know, build what customers are looking for. All right. Hey, you know what? I just thought of one other thing that I failed to mention early on. And it's, this is something I don't care for, okay? Something I don't care for. And that is, talking about brakes, we'll go back over here. There's no parking brake, okay? There's no parking brake here. There's no parking brake over here. There's just no parking brake. So be aware of that. If, uh, if you're gonna park this somewhere and you're on a little bit of a hill, then your best option is to uh, put a rock or something under the tire, turn the wheel sideways to keep it from rolling down the hill uh, yeah, just, just be aware of that. Let's see, anything else here? I think that's really a, the overview. I'm um, talking about the specs and the things that I like and don't like. Uh, there's really not much I don't like about this trike. The overall build quality, I'll share this. The overall build quality just seems good, okay? It's, it seems really good compared to, again, maybe some other trikes. Um, I, I can't speak to you guys about longevity. I really can't speak to you too much about uh, customer service because I haven't had to deal with customer service. So just be aware of that because, you know, that's something that's on everyone's mind. Hey, how good is customer service? How good is the warranty? You know, getting things replaced if need be. You know, I, I just can't speak to that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, just so just be aware of that. And as far as longevity of parts, there is another trike on the market that has had some problems. Okay, we'll just say that. Um, that crept up over time. You know, with any bike that I review or any trike that I review, I can't really speak to that. You know, I don't know what's going to happen six months from now, a year from now, you know, 500 miles from now. I just don't know. I will tell you, I liked how this was packaged. Uh, I had very little damage. If you missed that unboxing video, make sure you go look for that. We did have just a little bit of damage right here. This fender, this corner was tweaked in just a little bit, and I was able to just... Uh, with my hands just straightened it out that was it the rest of the bike was packaged very well i was very pleased with that all right uh, richard has done a lot of yakking what do you say we get out there and do some riding and we talk some more okay guys before we take off and go riding i thought maybe i should just show you uh how things look right here so uh, i am 6'1 245 so i'm a bigger guy and uh, just show you the step through right here i didn't get the measurements on this step through but if I had to guess, you know, 17 inches, 18 inches or something, um, easy for me to get on and off. Going to be easy for a lot of others, I suppose, to get on and off. Just like that. Let me show you the, uh, uh, let me show you the seat position. You you can get the seat down pretty low, okay? I mean, that is super low. I don't have a measuring tape to measure it, but oh my goodness, I'm 6'1", and that goes down, you know, here's my knee, so it goes down between my knee and and my uh, upper hip area so nice and low and then of course you can bring it up quite a ways too so if you're a taller rider like I am you can go quite tall on it I think right about there's good for me so yeah so I just want to show you that so let's uh yeah let's get going so we'll just do some riding out here in the grass and 
because this is pretty uh this is pretty rough terrain right here let me get this powered up okay we're all powered up here uh, let's just go ahead and and uh, show you what it's like to get through the grass right here in the terrain you know where it's kind of rough We've got a big root right there i'm going to hit riding on the side of the hill Whoa! plenty of power to get through here around on this grass and a little bit of a hill right here let's get up on that so yeah I mean, I wish you could, I wish there's a better way for me to explain to you and tell you how rough this is right through here, but I'm bouncing them around pretty good. But it can handle it. Yeah, it can handle it just fine. All right, let's see if we can do this one-handed. So I'm going to ride this trike one-handed. Woo! Try to hold the camera at the same time, see how that goes. So we're just going to zip on down here, talk about a few things, show you some riding footage. Yeah, bring you around. Mostly you're looking at me. You don't want to look at me. Look at the trike. All right, guys. We're going to show you how this handles here in a few moments. But before we do that, we're just going to do a little riding and talk about a couple other things here real quick. So... I mentioned to you this has five levels of pedal assist so let's talk about that we're going to drop it down into pedal assist one and just get going here and there it kicked in now we're just cruising around and that's about seven and a half miles per hour okay in pedal assist one notice something over here about the throttle okay i can hit that throttle right now here we go Pedal assist one, but I can throttle up full speed, which is pretty nice, okay? So if you're someone that's going to be riding around only using your throttle, then you can do that and just leave it in pedal assist one. You don't have to, you don't have to uh, change your pedal assist levels to get moving. Got someone coming up behind me, so we're just going to go up here on the sidewalk, let them go by. Mr. Amazon guy. Looks like he's going to stop here. Let's get past all this nonsense here. All right, so I'm not going to use the throttle. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up in the pedal assist 2. Pedal assist 2 is going to give me, what is it, about 9, a little over 9 miles per hour. Let's get back out here in the street. You notice how easy that was? Nice and comfortable. So right at 9.2, 9.3, something like that. Pedal assist 3 going a little faster now I'm gonna jump on up to 10 11 11 2 about 11.2 and I'm already starting to ghost pedal so if you see my legs you know I'm, I'm not getting any resistance at that point I'm pedaling pretty fast because it's got that smaller crank down there so if you plan on pedaling this you know you can expect to you know maybe pedal in uh, pedal assist 3 and hit maybe 11 miles per hour and anything beyond that is just ghost pedaling. I'm going to put it in pedal assist 4. Now speaking of ghost pedaling, you can ghost pedal and just barely move your legs. If you're someone who likes to move your legs just a little bit and kind of keep moving, well you can move slow. You're not getting any resistance. You're just freely spinning that crank and by doing so you're going to get about 12 miles per hour on pedal assist 4. Oh, there we go. We got it to 13. So 13 miles per hour. And I can comfortably go around this curve. Don't have any feelings of losing control or leaning over or anything like that. Let's go ahead and bump it up to pedal assist 5. Just barely moving my crank here to engage that motor. The motor's doing all the work. No throttle. And now we're up to about 15 and a half. And one thing I noticed when I was doing some testing with this is that the speedometer seems to be off by a, a half a mile an hour okay so the top speed is 16 but for the most part uh, using the uh, the display here you're only gonna see 15.5 using my GPS tracker on my phone it would be showing me 16 right now so just be aware of that let's go ahead and uh, check out these brakes so I'm gonna go ahead and do a full stop 
yeah i could have locked those up again you shouldn't lock up your brakes because it just it's not good and you easily lose control but um the brakes work very well okay work very well uh, they're not too hard to squeeze by any means i've had bikes and trikes where you had to squeeze the brake handles really hard to really kind of get a good response out of them not with these uh, again it's a name brand i'm not familiar with but they're working well so far So with a top speed of 16 miles per hour and and uh, you know nice comfortable ride I'm enjoying this let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go do something else here hang tight hang with me on the sidewalk now I did another video in this area and so I thought why not I'll just do the same the same uh, testing right here make it similar so let's just pull off here into the grass we're gonna go across the grass now again this is throttle only I'm not pedaling and it says 42 Newton meters and that just is doing real well across this grass and it's it's a thicker grass it's a it's a taller grass because our grass here in Florida has to be maintained taller and you know, throttle only, it's it's getting me across this just fine. See? Now, in the grass, because, you know, it can be a little wet in spots, you can get a little wheel slippage, so be aware of that. I just had a, a little wheel slip. Let's just stop right here, set up our camera. All right, there we go. Get a little closer to the camera now. Kind of make some turns here. Now this is out in the grass, really rough terrain. This is not a smooth lawn like you find in, in some places around the country. Here our ground is very porous, it's very sandy, and the ground just gets really, really rough. This is all throttle only. See me turning here, got a little wheel slippage there. Because again, the grass can be a little, a little slippery compared to being out on the sidewalk or the street. So I hope that was helpful for you. All right, let's just make a uh, let's just make a turn right here. Okay, so I'm going to turn sharp. Try to keep it on the sidewalk. Ugh, not quite, not quite enough room to keep it on this small sidewalk. I have to go off the sidewalk a little bit and turn sharp. Look at that. No concerns about how the trike operates though and how it functions. Got the wheel at a 45. Oh, got hung up on the curb. There we go. You hear that differential clunking just a little bit? They're designed to do that because the wheels, the back tires are turning at a different pace, right? So they need to be able to freely move and it seems to be doing that just fine. Do that again, a little bit wider. Let's go this way, a little bit wider. Little, little wheel slippage there. All right. All right, guys, I picked up my camera. Let's just go and find some place else where we can do some testing. I want to show you the stability a little bit better. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to return home and uh, do some testing right there on and off the driveway and around the curb right there. So let's go do that. Okay, let's show you some footage right here going on and off the sidewalk at an angle. So it's gonna spin around here, hit it at an angle, you know, a little teetering back and forth. Not much. I'm gonna go over here, do it again. We're gonna go straight on. Almost straight on. So a little wobble there. And let me turn around here. And show you from the back side. Okay, so like I said, you know, in my first video, I said this trike is just seems to be so much more stable. Honestly, it, it just feels tight. 
the frame feels tight. I don't feel like I'm leaning a lot when I'm going down the side of the road. Uh, some other trikes, you know, you just feel like you're leaning a lot because, let me get over here and show you. When you're on the crown of the road, because it slopes or rainwater runoff, you know, you know, I just felt like I was always leaning really bad. But with this trike, I'm upright, you know, and, and I don't have any issues. So it, it performs well. Let me get turned around here. Let me grab that camera. Maybe show some more footage. All right, now I don't have much of a hill to show you or anything around here, but my driveway is about a 3% grade. And I had another trike where I stopped on the driveway and I tried to go and it wouldn't take me anywhere. But watch this. I can hit the throttle and we're just going to move right on up the driveway which is pretty nice. Let's just go ahead and back back down, show you that again. Stopped right here, hit the throttle, and take off and go. So that's why I say, I, well, when they mentioned 42 newton meters of torque, I just can't believe that it's only 42 newton meters of torque because it's got the power to do this. Uh, another trike I was, uh, I was looking at, it was a bigger, so it was a little heavier, but it had 65 newton meters of torque and you see here like this and hit the throttle and you just you couldn't go up the, the driveway without putting effort into the pedal and helping it along so i don't know how this is going to do on bigger hills because again i just i don't have big hills to test it on i wish i did really all i have is just you know uneven ground and tall grasses and my, my yard needs to be mowed. It has been mowed in about a week and a half. So, you know, here's a little bit of an incline going up, but not much. Makes it up that just fine. But, yeah, when you've got uh, this thicker grass, it just makes it harder to get through. And this trike is handling it just fine. A little slippage there. Turning up the hill. So, you kind of expect that. Yeah. There we go. Ah! Here we go. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions about the Mooncool TK1, make sure you drop them down below. I'm happy to answer your questions. Happy to uh, try to, you know, maybe put out some more videos about anything you have questions about. Um, go check it out. It's a great bike. Do I like this better than some of the other trikes that I've had, that I have? I like it a lot. Can't say much more than that because I want to do a full, re or excuse me, I want to do a, a comparison. Uh, with this and some of the, the other two trikes I own so that you can see a side-by-side -side comparison because there are things I really like about this trike uh, but there are some things I really like about the other ones as well and so really it's going to come down to what's best for you and, and your needs but uh, yeah be sure you look out for those videos and subscribe now before you forget so you don't miss those videos when I release them and if you get value out of this video pause right now smash that that, that like button for me Smash, smash, smash that like button because that helps to push this video out to more people so more people can learn about this great company called Mooncool. Hey, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.